Why are interviews important? Well, there are two reasons. The first is that an interview with a source helps the journalists to find and confirm the facts that make up their story. The second reason why interviews are important is because we want to tell the story as much as possible in the interviewee's own words, in the form of quotes. So journalists need to be able to ask questions for two reasons. First, to find out information and then to encourage good quotes that they can use in the article. How do we go about asking those questions? Well, first, you need to make sure that if you're doing an interview with a source, you prepare some of those questions in advance. What you don't want to do is go in completely unprepared and not know what to ask the interviewee, because you're probably going to be under some time pressure. You need to ask questions with a focus. So if you ask general questions, people will tend to give you general answers. What you want to do is ask questions that are very carefully focused on the information that you're trying to get from the interviewee. You want to ask short, simple questions, because we're not interested in hearing you talk. What we're interested in is what the interviewee, what the, the newsmaker, can say to us. You need to try and listen to the answers as well. A lot of people make the mistake of just preparing a list of questions, then they ask it no matter what. You need to listen to each answer and then use that answer to frame your next question. What you want is the interview to be a conversation, a structured conversation, but a conversation between you and the newsmaker. So why are we interested in quotes? Why are they so important? Well, there are three reasons. The first is that readers trust information which is in the newsmaker's own words. The second is that quoting attributes the information or opinion to that source rather than to the journalist or to the publication. So it kind of puts you one step away as a journalist from the information that you've obtained. You're saying this is the source that's saying this, not me. And that can sometimes be important. And thirdly, quoting a, a newsmaker, a source, adds life and it adds colour and it adds variety to the article. So that's good news. That, that's something that you really want in your article. To get the kind of quotes that we want for an article, one important technique is to avoid asking what are called closed questions. Now a closed question can be answered with a simple yes or no answer. You don't get very far if you're asking closed questions. All of these you can answer with a yes or a no answer. Now closed questions make it very difficult and very slow and very time consuming to get anywhere in an interview because you're not getting much information and you don't get good quotes that you can then use in an article. So what journalists need to do is ask open questions. Open questions need a fuller answer. You have to formulate some sort of response rather than just a yes or a no. The great thing about open questions is it allows an interviewee to tell the story in their own way and you can then use those words in a form of quotes in your article. Let's deal with on and off the record. Off the record doesn't mean you can't use this information. Off the record means you can use what I'm telling you but don't tell anyone that I said it. So you can't reveal the source in your article. Sometimes it's important to use information from anonymous sources. If something's going to be off the record, then the interviewee should say so before they make the comment rather than after. But you have to apply a bit of common sense here. Not everybody that you will interview is well versed in dealing with the press and has been trained in handling the media. So they won't necessarily know how the conventions of off the record work. If you're dealing with someone like that, you have to think about the ethics of what you're doing. Is it right to use what they've said, even though they didn't use the off-the-record system properly? You need to think about that. Here are some interviewing problems you can avoid. If there's any possible doubt about a name that the interviewee says and how it might be spelled, ask them to spell it. Even common-sounding names can be spelled in different ways. If it's something that's uh, quite well known, it's just that you don't know how to spell it, you can always check that afterwards. If the interviewee is the best person to tell you, check with them straight away. If you don't understand something that an interviewee tells you, don't just write it down and then repeat it verbatim in your article. Informed readers will know 
that you don't know what you're talking about. Ask the interviewee to explain it. Don't take answers at face value. Find out more, ask more questions, delve in depth into something. Don't be afraid to go away from your prepared list of questions by asking questions based on what the interviewee has said. And don't talk too much. Don't jump in to fill a gap in the conversation if the interviewee goes quiet. Instead, just wait. Most people will try and fill in that gap in the conversation themselves. So in summary, interviews are sources of information and they're also sources of quotes that we can use in our articles. It's best to prepare in advance wherever you can, but use that prepared list of questions as a starting point. Adapt it as the conversation progresses. Quotes are very valuable, so ask open questions and let the newsmaker tell you the story in their own words. You can use off the record information in your article, but what you can't do is reveal who supplied the information.